Yes, hello. We're here to present our study entitled Project ESODOC. It's an intervention program to improve the reading comprehension level of grade 6 pupils of the Duck Elementary School using the question-answer relationship strategy. And as for the introduction of this study, reading is a complex process that is fundamental to pupils' academic achievement. Thus, reading comprehension is an essential skill for learners. It is a fundamental skill to master in order to ensure success in learning. Second, students need to be taught specific strategies to improve comprehension and a large time commitment is required to teach comprehension strategies correctly. That's according to Bo et al. 2001. According to Harvey and Godley 2000, readers need a specific instruction to understand how strategies can be used to make sense of text when meaning breaks down and students must learn to analyze their comprehension problems in order to choose the best strategy to use. The problem in comprehending reading text becomes the problem encountered by the 6th grade pupils of the Duck Elementary School. It is found out that 28 out of 29 grade 6 pupils or 97% of the class score below base on their group screening test in field e repeat test English category. And as for the research questions, the researchers conducted this study for the purpose of improving the comprehension level of 28 grade 6 pupils in reading comprehensions particularly in comprehending main ideas, specific information, word meaning, and textual reference of text to an intervention named Project ESODOC, and hand supervision to unleash difficulties among pupils in reading. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. 1. What was the recognition level of each group of pupils after the intervention? 2. What were the strategies under Project ESODOC that remediate the identified reading difficulties? And number three, was there any significant difference between the pretest and post test scores in pupils' comprehension level? And as for the scope and limitations, this study included 28 grade 6 pupils of the Duck Elementary School who got a score of less than 14 that took the group screening test in the field e pretest in English. For school year 2019-2020, furthermore, this study had the following delimitation. First, research investigation was confined to grade 6 pupils of the Duck Elementary School. Second, it involved 28 grade 6 pupils using purposive sampling technique. And third, this study did not include the other grade level in the school. So those are the scope and limitation of the study. For the methodology going to conclusion, this will be discussed by the main proponent of this study, none other than teacher Dina Kanini. For the methodology, the respondents of the study were 28 grade 6 pupils of the Duff Elementary School for school year 2019-2020 and the sample was chosen using purposive sampling technique. This action research relied chiefly on the results of the different silent reading tests for comprehension level based on the standard Philippine informal reading inventory conducted during the period of the program. The descriptive method of research was used in the study to find out the reading performance of the pupils. The data gathered were tabulated, evaluated, and analyzed using percentages to identify the reading levels of the pupils. TTAS was used to determine significant correlation between the pre-test and post-test results in reading comprehension using the question and answer relationship strategy or the QAR. For the result and discussion, the Table 1 shows the Filiri silent reading test results. Two from prostration level went to the next higher reading comprehension level, and three from instructional level increased the reading comprehension to independent level. For the t-test of difference between the mean pretest and post-test scores in reading comprehension, the value of T is 14.71686, while the value of P is less than 0 
and the result is significant at t is less than 0 0.05. For the conclusion, there is a statistically significant mean gained from the pre-scores to post-scores, post where t is equals to 14.71686 and p is less than 0.05. It can be deduced from the table that the obtained difference is 5.54 between the pre-test score and the post-scores of the pupils in reading comprehension is significant as indicated by the t-value, which is 14.7169, with probability less than 0.05 level of significance. This means that the post-test mean score is significantly higher than the pre-test mean score. This implies that the pupils improved significantly in comprehension level after using the intervention program using the question-and-answer relationship. Thank you for watching!